Hello, hello. We have for you VVVVVV from from a few years ago now. This is this yeah. game has still aged well, though. I've got to tell you, uh, you're seeing a, a a section of the game we used later on for <laughs> testing the cropping. Uh, you might see our character in an awkward position. You'll see more of that in a second. I still have with me Mohawk and uh, T how do you pronounce your name again? Zan. Okay, I'm not even going to try. Um, now, you're an actual runner of this game. Yeah. Uh, we were both actual runners. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to mostly be relying on them for commentary. I have also played this game casually, and I have beaten it, and it is fun, and I am not fast at it. I'm going <laughs> to let these guys talk about it. So I'm going to stop this and hit start and get the game positioned in the correct as much as I can possibly manage at location, which is a fun challenge. It is, it is interesting getting this lined up just right. So we're going to try it like that. And let's get started in three, two, I know. Yeah, don't worry about it. It looks bad on my screen, too. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Panic not. Uh, this is actually the first frame of the game, and uh, we're in a tool-assisted speedrun uh, uh, framework, I guess, called LibTask, made by Keeley. This particular task was made by Master June. Let's go in three, two, one, go. Let's go. So this is a 2010 3D platformer. This is almost... Three, well, this has always been like nine years now and we're still finding new stuff in this game, that's crazy. So if you don't know, don't know this game, uh, instead of jumping or inverting gravity but, uh, when you're on floor or ceiling, and we also have the ability to kill yourself, which we're using right now to skip the intro level. Pretty convenient, huh? And now we're actually going to go directly to the overworld. So we skip the tutorial level and we're going to grab this checkpoint here, which is important. Uh, and our goal right now is to do all of our overworld movement in one go, so we don't have to do any more later. Um, and we've got to skip these checkpoints here, so we can respawn at the checkpoint we grabbed earlier, and that one as well. Uh, and now we're going to go grab a couple teleporters. Um, <laughs> we're going to grab a couple teleporters. <laughs> Uh, and so first we're going to grab the Warp Zone Teleporter and then the Space Station 2 Teleporter. Or those aren't actually the places the teleporters are, but we're going to do a glitch called Telejumping, uh, which will help us later on, which Moa can explain. Yeah, so basically, um, Telejumping, uh, you are uh, killing yourself at the same frame you're entering Teleporter. So these kinds of teleporters, um, by doing so, you gain by uh, control of your character and by moving out of the teleporting animation, uh, you can move and go through the wall like be before the collision detection happens. And you're about to see it in a few seconds. So kill yourself, teleport, and go through the wall. And... Hi, nice again! <laughs> and we just completed Warp Zone in a matter of a few seconds. While well, it would have uh, taken like one minute and a half to do it normally. And if you just missed the tele-jumping, don't worry. We have one more right away. Kill yourself and go to this teleporter you were. And we are right in the middle of Space Station 2 already. So unfortunately, we have to w um, wait for this platform. So we're having some fun up in the meantime. Yeah, and the reason we go to Space Station 2 now is because we're going to pass very close to Space Station 1, which is actually the tutorial level. And we grab that teleporter there, which you may have s briefly seen. Um, and also, the spikes here don't actually exist. <laughs> Very convenient. Yeah. Uh, and the reason we grab that Space Station 1 teleporter is so we can just teleport to the end of the tutorial um, and just complete that without actually doing any of the tutorial. And what's actually important is now that we're rescuing our second crewmate, but once we rescue our third crewmate, it triggers an intermission level. Uh, but if we also finish the tutorial at the same time, it triggers a cutscene which has higher priority than the intermission level, and it, we can then break out of that cutscene and just skip the intermission level. So like that. if you had a hard time following, don't worry. It's going to happen in a matter of a few seconds on screen. So we just have our second number at the end of Space Station 2. We're going right away to Space Station 1, get into the teleporter, trigger the cutscene, killing ourselves, gain back movement, trigger the screen transition to a body cut scene and telejump to the end of tower. And yeah, we have basically saved pretty much everyone we needed. Credit to Terry Kavanaugh for making the game so broken and yet still so functional. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yep. And now that we've rescued our fourth crewmate, it actually triggers the second intermission, which you might also know as the Gravitron. Yep. Uh, and it's actually the, as an RTA runner, it's one of the least favorite, or one of my least favorite sections because it's lots of RNG. And what's interesting about this room right here is that one room to the right of this is actually the end of the game. So if you get there uh, and you exit that room, it triggers the game complete sequence and you can uh, finish the game. And uh, we're actually going to use this Gravitron. We have to complete it, unfortunately, but uh, we can break out of it after we've completed it uh, to get a glitchy hitbox state, which allows us to clip out of the room that we were just in and to the end of the game. Yeah, there are tiny gaps at the top of the, this room. So and this came from an idea like only one month ago from the Epicosity. So shout out to the VVVV speedrun community for still finding interest in glitch landing this game. And while we're in the Gravitron, we might as well uh, have some fun with hitboxes and stuff. My playthrough of this did not look like that at all. <laughs> I was running in terror. <gasps> oh, they're coming, they're coming! And Taskbot's like, eh, whatever. Yep, so once the Gravitron completes, we're going to exit the screen to the bottom. We're going to self-destruct so we can spawn back in the Gravitron, but we're going to bounce out of it quickly enough so that the Gravitron sequence starts, but we're no longer inside it. And that gives us a glitchy hitbox state, which we'll use to clip out of the top of the screen. Uh, and then we're going to walk one screen to the left, which actually warps us to the right, interestingly enough. And then we go into the game complete screen for one or two frames. You barely saw it there, but we triggered the game complete sequence. Uh, and there, there we go. go. <laughs> so we're still not done. There's still the outro cut scene to go. So as you can see, Gravitron is still running. Uh, you have still squares appearing on the side of the screen. You have still a Gravitron timer running. And this is actually uh, very interesting, very important. Yeah, so the timer actually, if you're too slow in the outro cutscene with dialogue mashing and stuff, the timer will reach zero. Uh, interesting, interestingly enough, during the cutscene you can still die, as you can see there. Um, but if the timer reaches zero before the credits start, the game will actually crash. Which is not good. So time's coming up. And time! <laughs> so yeah, that was BBBBB in under six minutes by Master Jim. Huge credit to him. So Master June has been a uh, has been a regular occurrence at a variety of different uh, marathon events, GDQ and others. Uh, I, I, credit to him, he just keeps coming up with amazing stuff, and he's been awesome in the teams. Thank, thank you very, thank you very much. There's a ton of people on the Discord.tas.bot uh, community that I'd love to thank also for making LibTask possible, especially Keeley in particular. Uh, the Moss 3212 has been involved in a bunch of random things. Onosaurus has been involved in a bunch of things. Thank you.